Speaking of USC, another great segue. They host Arizona State uh, here uh, on Saturday. Uh, USC, 25 and a half point home favorites, 61 the total. This is going to be my classic Ian Cameron first half full game uh, split baseball style for me in this game. I'll probably lay it with USC first half full game split. It's a big number, but USC, look, USC knows they got away with one last week. I don't think that performance sits well with anybody, even though they beat Oregon State last week. They know that offense had the worst game they've had all year. Uh, defense played well, but I think on offense especially, Caleb Williams and that offense knows they're a whole hell of a lot better than that. And they've certainly got the prime opponent to uh, inflict punishment on and damage to uh, Arizona State. I told you, don't buy into this first game since the firing of the head coach. They're going to show up nonsense. That's exactly what it was. was, Arizona State was no better uh, against Utah on Saturday night first game with Herm Edwards than they were in the games with Herm Edwards before that. Uh, So, you know, without Herm Edwards, same old, you know, bad performance. The defense has been gutted. In all three games since that Northern Arizona opener, you know, Oklahoma State shreds them for 34 points and over 400 yards. Eastern Michigan puts up 30 points against them. And then a 34 spot for Utah. Uh, This probably gets ugly. Uh, USC, I know they struggled last week against Oregon State, but that was on the road. They're back home. This is an Arizona State team that's shown me nothing. How's Emory Jones working out? The Florida transfer, not very good at the quarterback spot for Arizona State. So this would probably be a lay the points first half full game type deal for me with USC. Uh, Even though they won last week, I don't think they're satisfied or happy with that performance, just barely escaping. I think they'll be sharper here, better uh, execution from the Trojans. What do you think here, Connor Mack, ASU, USC? I think they are too. Uh, You know, I don't love laying huge numbers, but I think that's the only way you could look here. Look first half. Uh, for Arizona State's that bad, I think, right now, de- with all the de- they're dealing with, you know, her get canned on the sidelines, new coach. I don't think it changes anything. They just got they got issues there at Arizona State right now. This football team, I think SC just comes back and cruises. Yeah, so I'd look early team total, you know, all that shit. I think if you look SC, I think they cover here. All right, yeah, de- definitely uh, issues with Arizona State and. Uh, Look, there, there's a part of me that – and Twitter's all over this, the betting and handicapping community. USC is thriving off this insane turnover margin that they have early in the year. It's like every turnover and fumble is going their way right now. That's not going to continue indefinitely, but at the same time, maybe you just got to tip the cap to their ability yeah. to force turnovers. You know, there is a skill, there is an art to doing that. I mean, everybody just says, oh, they're getting lucky plus 10 turnovers or whatever they are this year. No, there's an art to doing that. And you got to tip your captain. They're punching the ball out, you know, uh, and, and they're getting turnovers from the other team. And sometimes you just got to tip your cap, say they're doing a good job and not just chalk it up to 